I'm not always the sharpest uh, tool in the shed, so when I get to certain stages of this boat project, occasionally I just have to sit and stare. And I had one of those instances yesterday as I was trying to figure out the construction of the collision chamber. And I was really struggling uh, with the instructions. Uh, and it talked about building a jig, getting things level, drawing a line along the front that will be the, the collision chamber, and then uh, using plumb bubs to figure out the uh, shape of the aft collision chamber. So this is the part at the front of the boat uh, that's probably the most vulnerable to impacts to driftwood or rocks or something. And it's a little extra insurance to make sure the boat doesn't flood. But I had, was having a hard time getting my head around the instructions. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Couldn't solve that problem. What, what are we trying to accomplish? All we're trying to do is uh, create a horizontal plane that is level with the stringers, but 11 inches higher, straight to the front of the boat and meet all those complex curves. So I made two of those jigs, just a 36 inch two by four with a cheap sheet of scrap plywood that is 11 inches high. Then using a straight edge and this scrap piece of plywood comes down to a nice point, so that actually worked well. And then I can just sort of move it around here and with Sharpie, mark the points. Not a point, good thing. Then, I measured to the point right here in front of the stringers um, to where the aft of this bulkhead will go and figured out that that was uh, 48 inches. So I marked a point here in the center of the stem and I measured 48 inches. Well, it could have been, it would have been anything, but it just happened to be exactly 48 inches to get back to a line that puts me directly in front of the stringers. I did the same thing over there, so I'm square. Then I took a straight edge, put it over the top, hung a plumb bob to this 48 point mark. Then I ran it all the way to the bottom and marked that. So now I know where the line is for this aft bulkhead. So now I'm gonna use some cardboard uh, to cut that out and get a good template that I can then transfer to quarter inch ply and uh, build the bulkhead. I earlier drew up the template um, of just measurements and then went and transferred that to my quarter inch uh, marine plywood and I have a bulkhead and it plugs in very nicely so I'm not going to fit anything together because I am out of fiberglass resin I'm waiting for a shipment so I guess I'll just cut parts and uh, stack them up until I'm ready to go so on the top I decided to just go uh, full um, full modding with uh, cardboard. So I have a few sheets of cardboard. I laid it down here. I uh, kind of pressed it into fit, roughed it out a few with a few cuts, rough cuts, put it in, cut out a few more, got it good enough. And then I just uh, do the old trick where you take, you get it close to the edge, put a felt pen and a washer and trace along the edge. And that gives you a good true uh, line that when you cut out, it snugs up really good, really well against the hull of the boat. Sorry, I didn't film while I was putting this in, but it was awkward and just a lot of repetitive work. Two pieces on top, right and the left, fiberglass the back sides, uh, epoxied the edges where they were gonna go, set them into place, temporarily screwed them into place, and then I just glued them in. Uh, I used a lot of thickened epoxy to uh, around the edges to get it to adhere to the to the boat side, uh, and then I did the four inch uh, tape um, over the fillet to smooth it out. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, down below, I have the uh, what is it seven eighths, fifteen sixteenths uh, drain plug that I made earlier, and up here for the uh, access, um, I'm not very good at cutting holes, but I finally got it rounded out. And this will be my uh, access to the port. So that's what it looks like. Uh, it's a good start on the forward section. I am sad to say that getting some of the supplies is really difficult now. Uh, this uh, E-Bond epoxy, which is what I've been using, I've been buying in 15-gallon uh, packets packages, uh, which has been great. 
but they're just not available and they tell me they're not going to be available till March. So that was a huge uh, money saving effort for me. So now I'm looking for another supplier that can give me bulk uh, quantities. So I think I found one. I'm going to try it out and I'll let you know how it works. Yep, so this is what I'm looking for. I've got the basic hole done. And this is what I've got so far. Kind of a long ways to go, but hey, got the first interior part done. In two weeks I retire and I'm going gangbusters on it. So you need to remember as this project goes uh, that I am working on a budget, putting a lot of elbow grease into things. Um, maybe rebuilding or refurbishing certain things uh, that I think will work. And this is an example of one of them. This is uh, the trailer that I'm gonna be using. And I kind of look at this as my starter trailer. Um, I think it'll be very adequate, it's strong enough. I took it down to a welder and had him look it over and make sure it was strong. I will have to convert this from drum to disc. That's gonna cost six or 800 bucks. But in the end, I'll be into my trailer for about $2,500. So that's a success story. Yeah, I got that from a guy who was uh, salvaging a boat. It's from a bellboy, 26 foot bellboy. I got it for a hundred bucks. I decided, hey, if it works great, if not, I'll sell it for a hundred bucks. I've stored it next to my uh, shop here for the last uh, year. <laughs> and I just now put it on the gondola to see if it actually fits. And it does, it looks really good. I am so excited.